So here's what we're gonna do. Let me have the club. Okay, the camera's there, so you can stand right here. Okay, we're gonna get our feet in the red zone. Narrow, right? If you want, go ahead and do a couple of these, rotate and relocates, okay? This club is on the, this club, this is what this shot's gonna look like. There's a narrow little stance. Is this club on the ground? It's not, is it, right? We're gonna learn how to take this club, collect the ball, and hit a little shot. Now what do you notice? I'm rotated and relocated pretty much in this quadrant. Prior to the swing, I kind of shared two quadrants, didn't I? There's four here. The golf ball is kind of, you know, sharing these two. My body rotates and relocates into this one. Now, I didn't hit that very far on purpose, nor do I want you to hit these any farther than that. Can't. Good, okay. So come on in here. Put the good hands on it. Feet where? White zone or red zone? Red zone, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop that for a second. I'm gonna take this right hand off. I'm gonna go down the club a half an inch or, or more, okay? I'm gonna play, instead of you ruining grips up here, gloves, I'm gonna go down the grip a half an inch. I'm gonna see the word golf pride up there. So now when you put your right hand on, your right thumb is restfully easily on the G down there. Easy, okay? And now I'm gonna take this hand. I got put, a full inset. Whatever you wanna call it, perfect. That's where you need to grip it, man. Don't, well, you know, you could go to there, okay? Yeah. But now put your right hand on. Good, club's off the ground. Awesome, okay? So show me one, two, gum on your shoe. Let a ball get in the way of that. Go, one, two, gum on your shoe, beautiful. Now you just flushed one out there 95 yards. Yeah, I didn't mean to hit that far. Nobody ever does, bud. Great shot. That's why I always tell everybody to hit it 30 yards so I get 90 yards. I wish I had $100 for every one of my thousands of students that hit it three times farther than I asked. See how far a ball will go if you hit it solid? Kind of fascinating, isn't it? Right? So what you did was awesome. Do it again. So don't hit it less far. So hang on a second before you get into this. Grip down the club a half an inch farther, please. Thank you. Club's off the ground. Feet in the red zone. I'm gonna say that one more hundred times before this day's over. Okay? Okay, you ready? Club's off the ground, ready? Good. One, two, gum in your shoe. Okay, don't move. Great, great job. And I'm gonna say just a bit of side bend because you're not hitting a hard one. Side bend is just the bend that took over for your forward bend. So come back to address. This is forward flex, your forward flex. Do you with me? As we hit a golf ball, we take on a little bit of what's called side bend. In a backswing, guess what we take on? Feet in the red zone, please. 99 more times to go, okay? We take on left side bend, left shoulder down, back to forward, back to right side bend. So see how the body kind of works three-dimensionally? Forward bend, left side bend, forward bend, right side bend. You kind of getting these visuals a little bit? Good. You'll get them. I'm burying you with stuff, okay? Now, what am I don't what do I not want to yell at you about about your grip and your feet? Okay? Grip not in my hand. You don't have to tell me. I'm going to I'm going to yell at you if it's not right. I'm just giving you forewarning you. So what do you what does coach not want to yell at you about? Hand don't hand. say it. Do it. Just do it. Don't 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 say it. I know I asked the question. Just get ahead of it. Okay, don't move. What do we notice about where we are here? Are we really, is there bubblegum on this shoe? No. There wasn't, was there? So where'd our low point go? If we don't, if we're not rotated and relocated into a, to that forward quadrant in our left heel, right? Pretty easy to have the bottom of our circle kind of touch a place we don't really want it to. Okay, let's do it again, okay? You got schmutz on the club. Rub that off, please. Okay, good. Get your, think about what I'm gonna yell at you about in your grip. Don't let me, I'm gonna scrutinize in a moment, but I'm not looking yet. 
Okay, don't, let me see if I can yell at you. I can yell at you, because that's still not far enough down, man. Keep going. We'll have a visual reference of being somewhere here. Tell you what, don't think about this. Just go, okay, coach can't yell at me now. Okay. There, coach can't yell at me. Coach will damn sure make me run track if I do this, right? So how about we see, we cover up the word G golf a little bit. And if you leave half an inch, perfect. Okay, how about the red zone? Are you in the red zone? Good, one, two, gum in my shoe. Okay, good try. That's okay. Well, you're doing awesome. Step out, step in. Now this is a big part of what you're gonna do, watch. Be right back. Go ahead and hit one, Brian. Oh, guy swings it good. Nice swinging. Looks pretty fast too. Red zone. Oh boy, okay, so every one of these. See this right here, my friend? This is how you're gonna take it to the golf course because you're gonna play when you leave me. Not, not between now and then, but watch. This is how we do this. Let me have the club. All of our thoughts, you're gonna hit this ball in just a moment. Here's where you go, oh geez, I don't want Martin to yell at me. Okay, so I look down, I'm, my right hand, you got big hands, your right hand is somewhere on the word golf. Not way up here, okay, it's somewhere on the word golf. You're gonna think, okay, gosh, what am I doing here? And I'm going, one, two, gum on my shoe, okay. And he told me I gotta hit this ball quick. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand. Oh, that was a pretty good one. Huh, I touched the ball, I touched the ground in the right place. That was cool, that felt good. Okay, let's see if we can't do that again. We'll put a ball in here on the ball line and we can move this tee around a bit or move out or in. Come back here, guess what we do? Clubs off the ground. Okay, don't let Martin yell at me about the grip. Fine, narrowish stance. He's okay, one gum in my shoe. Okay, gotta hit it within 10 seconds. Show me from the start there. Cause this is how you're gonna get it on the golf course, my man. And ah, when I took swings, did I ever brush the grass? I did not. Practice swings, don't clip daisies, don't brush grass, my friend. So don't set the club, set, hold the club this high above the ground. And I'm gonna yell at you about your grip because you're not holding it down by the G. So you are a smart guy. So where are we gonna hold, get this darn right hand of yours? Make sure that when you hold it, that that G is almost covered up, right? You got this, come on. Show me that swing past six inches off the grass down there. Good, one, two, gum on my shoe. Show me one, two, where, uh-uh, do that again. Come on, show me, where's the gum? I can't, narrow stance. Here's one, two, there's gum. I see gum now. Those others, I didn't see gum. Okay, show me, you got this. Walk in, you get 10 seconds, go. Narrow stance. Okay, pretty good. So let's ask this, let's start a new video. I, of course, that's what I'm getting to. Why are you chunking the balls that you're missing? Do you know? No, Martin, I don't. Okay, good, that's a good guess. But the reason is that you're not unwinding the club in front of you. Stand over there for me, please. If I take it back and my chest is here when I go to hit it, where am I gonna land? How about if my chest goes, unwinds, now my club can touch better in a better spot, which leads to the next video.